To send OSC messages from VVVV, you first need to reference the OSC package. This gives you access to all the OSC nodes. And for sending, we first need an OSC client that we configure to the target IP and port that we want to send to. Then we can use send message nodes to send the actual messages. Each message needs an address, say size, and I want to send a single float here. So I'm choosing float. This is already sending the message and just to show you this here as a debug uh, option, I'm using the OSC uh, server where I'm just receiving on the same machine what I'm sending. We see a size message with a single float is being sent and received. Then let's say I want to send a bunch of uh, vectors. So let's say there is a message called polygon that should send a spread of uh, random vectors. Simply connect that to the arguments input and you see a bunch of floats is being sent here. Then I want to send a message of mixed types. So let's say a particle that has a color, a position, and a label. And in order to join multiple types together, we need to use a tuple node. Tuple is only available under the advanced section. And I'm using a tuple three because I want to send three items. Join them together. The first one should be a vector position. Second one should be uh, the color and the third one should be the text label for my particle. And you see we have two floats, a color and a string sent out here. And then sometimes you want to send messages that don't have any arguments at all. And this is what the send message empty is for. Say I want to call this bang. Connect it here. And now we're sending a bang message that does not have any arguments. Yeah, and this is already the most important things you need to know about sending OEC messages from VVVV.